Hi, and thank you for tuning in. I'm currently working on a Gavin Lon website which I hope to make public sometime early next year. One of the first things a viewer will see on this website is a link to a video that will contain content that basically sums up what Gavin Lon is all about. Now that I have completed the Let's Build an ASP.NET Core MVC web application on .NET 5 course, I've had a bit of time to create the video for the Gavin Lon website. I thought I'd release the video on my YouTube channel before I released the Gavin Lon website. I hope you enjoy it. C sharp language, or at least one of the other C based objects. We can use more advanced code to achieve the same thing literally through writing one line of code. I have over 20 years experience working as a software engineer and have worked on applications in many sectors, legal, insurance, medical, finance, municipal, educational, etc. So I've had the privilege of working on many diverse applications over the years. At the time of writing the narrative for this video, I've created 124 educational videos and three full courses on my YouTube channel. The first course I created, which is comprised of 37 videos, is a course that teaches the basics of the C Sharp language and has the apt title of C Sharp for Beginners. My next course, comprised of 25 videos, teaches the more advanced concepts of the C Sharp language and is entitled Advanced C Sharp. I have just completed my third course entitled Let's Build an ASP.NET Core MVC Web Application on .NET 5. This course teaches the basics of web development using the c -sharp language and the ASP.NET Core MVC framework. Although this course is beginner friendly, many advanced web development and c -sharp concepts are also covered. I'm not trying to mimic a classroom environment where there is invariably pressure to learn a subject in a limited period of time, after which you have to pass some exam. It is often questionable as to whether those exams really test your ability as a programmer in the real world. I see myself and those that learn with me as a community where we learn together and build our skills. In today's world of rapid technological advancement, it can be challenging to keep our skills up to date. If you've been working for years as a developer, it can also become difficult to remain motivated. If you have been in the same job for a long period of time, it is too easy to become complacent and find yourself stuck in a rut, working with old technologies that are soon to be deprecated. We as developers need to keep up to date with the latest technologies. Staying motivated is the key. So with a positive mindset, we can keep our skills up to date without the learning experience becoming drudgery. Technology is exciting and that's what I like to capture in my videos. My courses are designed for a learner to learn at their own pace and enjoy the experience of traversing the subject matter. Learning at your own pace is essential simply because we are all different. One size does not fit all. In some cases we learn certain concepts quicker than others and in other cases we may struggle with certain concepts. If one gets stuck on a certain concept, one can simply repeat the relevant part of the video. We are calling an asynchronous method from the button. Code examples that can be accessed on GitHub are available with each tutorial. Pace yourself appropriately and enjoy the experience of learning. There are a lot of exciting advancements taking place in technology that are creating new opportunities for developers. Moving forward, I hope to cover the ongoing exciting innovations in the c -sharp and .NET sphere, as well as other environments and programming languages. I'll continue to cover topics related to web development, and I also intend to cover topics related to, for example, mobile application development, Internet of Things application development, cloud technology, applications developed using the microservice architecture, the integration of AI into our applications, game development, and much more. 
as well as continuing to provide tutorials and informational content on current technologies that are relevant to those working in technology as well as those aspiring to work in technology, I also intend to create videos on those technological advancements that have the potential to change the game completely, like for example quantum computing and nanotechnology. These videos are enjoyable for me to create, but are also time consuming and a lot of hard work. I do need to cover my costs, and that is why I appreciate donations. In the future, I also intend to make use of a membership facility, where you'll be able to support the channel for a small amount on a monthly basis. In return, I'll provide premium content and other perks to those who join as members. Once this facility becomes available, I'll announce this on my YouTube channel. I'm happy to say that the rate at which my channel is growing is very encouraging. Thank you to those who have liked, subscribed, commented, shared and donated. Thank you and take care.